All right, thanks, Chris. Let's get back to that breaking news out of Spartanburg, where we're working to learn more information about what caused a busy Burger King to go up in flames. That fire broke out just last night, just before midnight on Asheville Highway, and it's still closed this morning. Fox Carolina's Grace Runkel is live in Spartanburg with what fire investigators know so far. That's right, Margaret Ann. I actually have a brand new update for you guys. I just got off the phone with the fire chief and he says crews are going to be back out here in an hour to continue their investigation because right now they still don't know what caused the fire, but they are going to be taking a closer look at the damage. So take a look behind me here. You can see it's still blocked off with that caution tape. So clearly the restaurant is not going to be open today, but there's a lot of debris on the ground. It looks like pieces of the siding. And then if you take a look up high there, you can see that there's a hole in the side you can see the sky through it and then of course you can see how much water firefighters had to use to douse that fire when you take a look over at the drive through window you can see a lot of condensation on the window right there and if you want to get a better idea for just how severe this fire was take a look at this video a viewer sent us last night you can see the flame shooting through the roof also a lot of smoke starting to form the fire top district fire chief says that this all started around 11:50, and they had fire crews on scene 30 minutes later still making sure that all the hot spots were put out so no flames would pop back up workers inside this burger king were the ones who called 911 at the time fortunately only the drive through was open so they they didn't have to worry about evacuating any customers from the inside. The fire chief says it took several departments to put out the flames. He says 50 to 60 firefighters were here last night. Before my units rolled out of the station, they were advised of a uh, fire coming through the roof. I arrived on scene, worked in fire, and in about 15 minutes had the fire out. And fortunately, no one was hurt in the fire. We're going to be here later on this morning at 9 o'clock when the fire chief comes back with his investigators to take a closer look at this fire. And we're going to bring you guys the latest updates. Margaret Ann.